And it gives him an opportunity. An outside chance. But a chance nonetheless. This will be the first ton topper of the Championship Tour Finals. She has double 19. Shanghai in the 19th. And she does so. Game shot on the third Well, leg. that is Dieter simply Hedman. superb. And that may well be the moment. Batch of Dieter Hedman. Double two, one left. But it one. doesn't go. DT acquired two. We've all been here before, haven't we? Madhouse for the match. And the champion of the match, the match is on. Dieter Hedman. Dieter Hedman made hard work of it at times, but she is into the semi-finals. The champion of 12 months ago is into the final four in 2024. She beats Kim Holden by four legs to three. Coming up after the break, Gemma Hayter up against Angela Kirkwood. I mean, you require 160. Both players on a finish for the match. Another one of them for Gemma Hayter. Gives herself a dart at tops. And that would have been some way to a sealed and superb comeback. And now for Kirkwood, this is her Hail Mary moment. To Gemma, no. She's got three darts to win full three. What has been a brilliant 83. game. 83. Gemma, you require may feel 40. like this one was let slip. Gemma Hater trailed 2 0 and 3 1. Off the barrel. Surely. Game shot and the match! But Gemma Hayter prevailed in the end. She had to come back twice from two leg deficits to prevail against Angela Kirkwood. She feels like maybe her fate has been sealed. So it's double 16, two eights. Game shot and the match! And Steph, Steph Clark. Clark provides the first shock of these championship tour finals. She has beaten the number three seed, Vicky Pruim, by four legs to one. A good performance, that. On debut in front of the cameras, on the big stage at the live lounge. Clark running out a 4-1 winner. She's going to be in the semi-finals to face either one of Fallon Sherrick or Eleanor Cairns. That's the final quarter final, and that takes place after this short break. She's embraced every part of this experience, but Fallon Sherrick tops for the match. And for a plate in the semi finals, the Queen Kings of the Palace the match, marches Fallon on. Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick is into the final four. She beats Eleanor Cairns by four legs to one to book her place into the semi finals, where she will take on Steph Clark. Dieter Hedman and Gemma Hayter will go toe to toe in the first semi final. That's the tail of the tape from the final quarter final game that we've seen this afternoon in Portsmouth. But we move swiftly on to the semi finals, and it is a meeting between the number one and number four seed. Dieter Hedman, the defending champion, up against the bookmaker's favourite in Gemma Hayter. And that game's coming up in a few moments' time. Two opportunities to win this 85. contest have come and gone. Dieter looking at 85. She's looking at the 19s. 15s, so it'd be 20 to leave the ball. So it'd be double five to take so us... Scored, take us into the decider. Oh, 75. That's unlucky. Gemma, you require 40. And so this, Gemma Hater's opportunity. Three darts at top to the final. Game and Gemma Hater will Hater. play the championship match. Her fairy tale comeback here could be one game away from a major title. And Dieter Hedman's defence of this championship tour title has come to an end. The first ever winner of this competition isn't going to back it up 12 months later. Gemma Hayter with the performance of the day so far. An average of 87.09. Four from 11 on her doubles. She is deposed of Dieter Hedman by four legs to two. And now it's time for our second semi-final between Steph Clark and Fallon Sherrick. And that's coming up on the other side of this short break. And you require 40.
Game start on the second leg. Never Alan in doubt. Well, all of to is she's playing. She's playing solid darts, and you know nobody can take that away from her. One hundred now. But that is a visit of a champion, the class of a champion, and the former women's world match play champion is eighty-two points away from making it to the tour championship 40. final, where she'll set up a date with Gemma Hater. She has been just a class above in this encounter. It was a step 66. in the right direction Steph for Steph Clark, but she's going to continue her fairy tale run. She has to take out this 79. It's looking for double top. 39. Fallon that Newquire, could 16. be that. Fallon Sherrick back for double eight. And back Game into shot. a and final at the live Fallon lounge. Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick will take on Gemma Hayter in a blockbuster final. An excellent way to round off the WADC Women's Championship Tour. The final between two of the premier female players. Fallon Sherrick up against Gemma Hayter for the £2,000 top prize. But the most important part, to become the Women's Tour Champion. Sherrick winning by four legs to nil in her semi-final against Steph Clark, who played well but maybe just a step up in class, but there's plenty of positives for her to take as she moves into 2025. But for Fallon Sherrick and Gemma Hayter, they have one more game to play here in the Tour Finals of 2024. The final will take place in around about 10 minutes' time, but before that, myself and Keegan are going to have a chat in the studio to preview that big match. One hundred and twenty-three. Gemma you require twenty. So for a sixteen data for Gemma. Game start in the second Two leg. Hater. Gemma Hater. She's halfway there. Does it come to her aid? Hater has an opportunity to get the double break. She's too good. She's only going to get one. At double four. But she Game only needed the, the third one. Leg. Gemma Hater. A war of approval from Gemma Hater. A war of approval from the crowd. That's her partner, Steph, watching on nervously. 12 months. She wasn't even playing at the beginning of the year. Yeah. She was inspired by the Luke Little a fairy tale. Well, she's about to write a fairy tale of her own. Double eight. So well, that's a match dark that comes and goes. Sherrick gets one last reprieve. One dart left at double 18. 58. That could be the last chance. And so Gemma, Gemma Hayter eight. to end her fairy tale year of return with a title, double four. Game shot! The and Golden the Gem! The 2024 WADC Women's Winmouth Tour Championship Champion, Gemma Hayter! Hometown hero Gemma Hayter has prevailed. The Portsmouth player picks up the jackpot. And in 2024, she is the Winmau Tour Champion. She has beaten Fallon Sherrick by four legs to nil in the final, and she will grab the glory. And oh, what a game that was. You know, sometimes the school line doesn't reflect the true game, and it doesn't there. But Gemma taking the full, taking the, the match 4 nil, and, you know, steady 82 average against Fallon 79, but. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the thing that could have uh, gone against Gemma is if Fallon started hitting her doubles in the early, the, the early exchanges of the match. But nevertheless, you know, you all WADC win mount, championship tall ladies winner, Gemma Hater. Ladies and gentlemen, what a superb afternoon of darts we have had here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. What an end to the WADC Winmau Championship Tour. First of all, can we please give our congratulations and commiserations as she leaves the stage, the Queen of the Palace, Fallon Sherrod. I'd now like to bring to the stage our champion,
Gemma, we'll do the presentation shortly, but first, a uh, few words. I'm not sure you've got many right now. You look absolutely shell-shocked. Many congratulations. That must be special. This is your hometown. This is your city. These are your people that you've just won in front of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm obviously very chuffed to win. Let's start from the beginning and kick off with the quarterfinal because you were 2-0 down, 3-1 down against Angie. Your back was against the wall at times. What kind of spirit did you summon to pull off the comeback? Um, I think it was everyone here, to be honest. I mean, I should have been, I should have been dead and buried. Ang Angela played like, amazing, and I, and I should have been out. But um, obviously, everyone, everyone come here, and I know that they come here for a reason. And luckily, I, I performed in the end. And then in the semi-final, you had that real spur, that real spell, didn't you, against Dieter Hedman? You must have felt at points towards the end that you, you were almost unplayable, almost invincible. Yeah, you get those uh, moments in games where you just feel like you can't miss. And luckily for me, that kind of happened against Dieter. Unfortunately for Dieter. <laughs> And then in the final against Fallon, obviously we did the walk-on before the final and the atmosphere is at fever pitch levels. A lot of them were for you. Did you draw inspiration from that? And did it almost feel like a fourth dart for you? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think it helps. Sometimes it can, it can be a bit um, like a pressure oven, but I didn't know which way it would go, but luckily it went my way. So. It's been some year. Come January, you weren't throwing darts, you weren't doing anything. And then suddenly you've picked up two women's series titles. And now you've picked up that, the culmination of 12 months worth of work. I know the women's series meant a lot for you, but how does this compare and contrast? Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, my dad's watching at home and I know he'll probably be crying right now. Um, he, he FaceTimed me this morning and he said, make sure you get your first title. So yeah, that was, that was for you, dad. <laughs> And what's the, the goals now? What, how does Gemma Hayter kick on in 2025? Or are you just enjoying this ride for all it's worth? Uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I, I never expected it. I think um, some people did that I was close to, but I, I never expected it. And it, yeah, hopefully it will just continue. Well, Gemma, we're going to swap places because this is your moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 WADC Windmill Championship Tour winner, Jamal! 